the Hard Hit Island of Dominica, total devastation. Nearly everything destroyed. Roads ripped, huge trees uprooted, debris littering the street. An island wiped out. After making landfall on the small island nation of Dominica, Category 5 Hurricane Maria left in its wake unprecedented damage to people, livelihoods, and infrastructure of the country. When the wind settled, the scale of destruction was vast, affecting 100% of the island and all of its 70,000 inhabitants. The international community and civil society responded immediately to support the government and people of Dominica. A momentous task and challenge was ahead for all those involved. Lutheran World Relief partnered with Habitat for Humanity, a non-profit organization with the vision of a world where everyone has a decent and affordable place to live, to quickly mobilize and respond to the crisis. Habitat for Humanity Trinidad and Tobago, an affiliate of Habitat for Humanity International, has been operating since 1997. Within the last decade, approximately, we've embraced the added mission of disaster risk reduction and we have a specific mandate of addressing those issues within the English-speaking Caribbean. A number of persons benefited from training sessions in basic carpentry for resilient wooden roofs led by a Habitat team. Men and women were taught techniques outlined in the revised building standards developed post-Hurricane Maria. Shelter experts from Habitat helped both unskilled and semi-skilled workers in the local labor force to improve their knowledge and experience through practical hands-on application. The workshop was very, very, very important. I see the importance of it because I'm a contractor and I have five guys working with me. And sometimes them guys doesn't have that experience in doing what you expect them to do. You know, but the training, they attend their now, open their brain. In addition, Habitat Trinidad and Tobago also deployed three engineers and 40 skilled migrant workers from Trinidad and Guyana. These initiatives played a significant role in addressing the labor shortage on the island and facilitated agencies such as the Red Cross Dominica and the International Organization for Migration in scaling up production in its shelter recovery program. Habitat for Humanity has some expertise that we didn't have and we did an operation that they didn't have. We needed carpenters. There was a labor shortage here in uh, Dominica. I had a problem because we had strict deadlines with the donors and also to the communities of repairing um, a, lot of, a lot of roofs but we couldn't find enough laborers. And then Habitat for Humanity said, hey, we, with our network in Trinidad, uh, we have access to uh, carpenters. Can we recruit some for you? I said, oh, great, uh, please uh, help us out. So they started taking it up and, and were very proactive. And within a few weeks, we had uh, the first 15 carpenters from Trinidad working here. We couldn't have done it without the technical expertise and also the knowledge from the region. They know what they're talking about. They, have, they know how governments work, how communities work. Through Habitat's partnership with other implementing agencies, many vulnerable households were able to recover and have a strong roof on their house. As a young mother, I feel great to know that I have a roof over my head where you don't have no leak, like it's more appropriate. And in terms of that I have a newborn baby, it's more appropriate for him. After this storm, I was so grievous that I used to feel like if I didn't even die in this storm, you know, I had an inside pain. I could not eat proper. I could drink, but to, I, my, my mind was never sickle. But you see now, my mind is very, very sickle. I feel I'm safe at this time in this house. You know, it haven't got no shaking, nothing, no thing to say I would I'll be afraid if, and as, if a storm come that I cannot stay and shelter it inside here. Habitat's ability to contribute to post-disaster recovery was possible through the contributions of its primary partner and sponsor, the Lutheran World Relief. Habitat has a really good reputation in emergency operations and particularly with shelter. Uh, Lutheran World Relief has worked with Habitat in other parts of the world before. After Hurricane Maria, 
After the damage had been assessed, we reached out to them to explore this potential partnership. And what I've seen here and what Habitat has done a really good job of doing is finding the gap which was trained labor and working with us to build a project that addressed that gap and collaborating with other organizations to address the needs of the population and contribute to the rebuilding effort. It was really important for us to connect with an organization that understands the, the Caribbean context and we're going to continue working with Habitat to see how we can build on the momentum of these trainings um, to go beyond just shelter reconstruction but also uh, work with young people who have lost their livelihoods and make sure that the country can rebuild to be stronger.